kids and cadets, welcome back to Tommy Time. Thanks for coming out. Just picked these up recently for 30 bucks with a Turo bag and a gas can. So I kind of messed around with these today. I started out with the MTD. When we initially looked at the MTD, it fired off with Happy Juice. So I figured since it was a nice 64 degrees today, I went ahead and messed with this. Removed the carburetor and the tank, cleaned them up. Um, probably uh, a little bit of water in the bowl. So I think we had a fuel issue with this, bad fuel. So let's add a little bit of fresh fuel to this and see if we have success. I went ahead and degreased it already, moved the wheels to the uh, bottom hole to give me the highest deck position, oiled up the safety brake cable, and uh, hopefully this thing starts. Otherwise, I spent a lot of time today messing with this for nothing. Both of these units are 2015s. I've already done an oil change and sharpened the blade. So let's pull on this 2015. smoky on this one which I'm not worried about I had it upside down when I was messing with it so I just need to let this run for about 10 to 15 minutes and burn off that excess oil that got into the exhaust I'm not worried about that at all let's move up the uh, next candidate Keep you in the sunshine here, 64 degrees. This is a Poulon Pro 500E, like I said, another 2015 issue with this thing. It looks like somebody tried to put another rope on it. But the main issue is the C-clip here fell off and one of the pawls fell off as well. We only got one out of two pawls. So you can buy these replacement recoils. All you got to do is pop them out with these tabs. So I may go that route on this one. But to do uh, a quick checky check on this, I'm just going to throw this Craftsman recoil on it just to see if it'll start. But first, let's go through this thing. There's a few things we need to look at. I want to take a fuel sample, see if this thing's been abused, look at the oil, and remove this wire here on the trap door. I don't like this thing 
hanging around. I don't want the uh, blade hitting it. So let's do that first. The uh, Mickey Mouse here by Harold, the homeowner. Safety first. Let's do a fuel sample. I've got a turkey baster from Dollar Tree. I want to put it in the tank. There's a little bit of fuel in the bottom. I want to see if we're starting off with contaminated fuel. That's pretty clean. Not so much. We got water and a bunch of uh, debris down there in the bottom of this bleach container. So this is a, an issue right here. We got contaminated fuel so we're going to have water in the bowl most likely when I get that far. What we're going to do is happy juice this thing, bypass this contaminated fuel. Let's look at the oil next. See if it's been changed or if it's the original oil from 2015. So that's an issue. The mark is way up here with the oil level. So we got a good quart of extra oil in this thing. I don't even want to start try starting it with this much oil. What I want to do is pour some of that off but also check the uh, plug. If it's this high we're going to have oil in the cylinder most likely. The oil's got to go somewhere. Let me grab a plug, spark plug uh, socket and remove the plug here. I just kicked you in the leg. Extremely oily plug. The gap is actually filled in with oil. What I'm going to do is turn this on end and um, rotate the engine, let some of this oil pour out of the crankcase. But before we do that, let's empty some out of the crankcase and then we'll tip it on end here to get the remaining oil out of the cylinder, excuse me. I've just got a half of a bleach container. I'm just going to pour some of that off.
let's see if that was enough. Close enough, we're right here at the arrow. It's still overfilled, but it'll be a lot better than it was. I've got a clip on the safety brake cable. I'm going to turn the uh, flywheel by hand once I put it on its tippy toes. We did have a little bit of weeping, so let's throw the plug back in. I'm just going to happy juice it real quick, carb cleaner to get some of this excess oil off of here. Okay, that's that. Let's make the uh, Poulon Pro a craftsman here. Looks kind of odd, don't it? The red and yellow. Looks like a Frankenstein. Okay, that's that. Now let's get serious. Let me turn this thing around so we can see the carburetor side. I'm going to need a new safety brake cable. The Z-bend on the handle side is broken. I got it jimmied just to get us started. This came with no air filter. You can see all that build up here, so that's no good. We're going to juice it anyhow.
Well, that was kind of crazy for the contaminated fuel that almost wanted to continue running. So this will be a good candidate to clean up. Kind of impressed for a shit box. This thing is showing some potential. Let's uh, flip this on its side, carburetor up. Let's look at the blade condition. Okay, right away. We need a new blade. This thing's hacked and slashed. This tip here is missing. And this side here is rounded off. So we need to throw another 21 inch blade on this 2015 Poulon Pro. So this thing's seen some use, some heavy use. So I'm guessing the recoil was the final straw. When this thing crapped out, it went to the street. But we're going to change out the uh, recoil center here, use the uh, Poulon Pro nameplate so people can see that it's a fine product. And then we'll just change out the recoil here in the center. So we're looking good on my $30 investment, I think. We got one, one runner with the MTD. And the Poulon Pro showed some potential, even with all those faults, overfilled crankcase, bad fuel, and a severely worn out 21 inch blade. Anywho, appreciate you coming out, checking out my channel, tip your waitress and waitstaff, they depend on you.